Ah, I'm short. Hello. Well, uh, it is Saturday, and I am going to get cracking on some paintings, dog. I'm a little tired. Um, I worked out later than I normally do. Normally, I've already done, I've already uh, exercised already at crack of dawn, but um, I'm just uh, now getting to it. So uh, I've been looking at this piece for a while now, and um, I've got some ideas on what I want to do now. And uh, I think I'm going to double down on the, uh, the cool little stripe pattern that I have kind of working here and uh, continue the stripe pattern on these two panels here. And um, I don't know if I want to do a lot. Maybe I just wanted to have a lot of stripes. I think I'm just going to have a lot of stripes on this. And then we'll see what happens. Right now, uh, just uh, trying to keep these pieces moving forward. You know, and hope things kind of pan out for them. You never know. Right? You never know. Well, you do know, but I personally never know when uh, the work is going to be finished. But uh, I've gotten better at that through time and just through playing around. I don't want my brush, my, uh, my stripe going on top of the end of one stripe. So we're going to keep it going on this side here. Gonna move it up a little bit. So we got some stripes here zigzagging. I'm gonna flip this one around for now. And then I'm gonna have I think I'm gonna for this side I'm gonna have this area cut off with with bright pink paint. But on this one I'm gonna kind of expand the shape a little bit. So it's this weird angled shape here. And uh, I think I'm not working on this one yet anymore. I'm gonna work solely on this left panel here. As you can see, I kind of work on both in tandem for a little bit, and then they kind of split their ways as I want to make a little bit more uh, more concise compositional like decisions to them. So sometimes I work on them in tandem together for a while, but then uh, they just need to be kind of separated, you know, visually. So I'm working on that. So I'm just trying to think about like, I never really liked these 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 yellow shapes showing. Um, I like floating off the, on the page. I like them actually coming off the page. So um, I'm gonna keep doing that. Just because. I feel like it laces. It, ma it makes like this, uh, this kind of like a ribbon form, right? Now, oh my goodness, did I forget a brush? Well, we'll just use one of these brushes that I have here. This will, will work fine. I'm always forgetting brushes when I do my live stream, so there's kind of that going on. I'm just moving this painting forward, using the tape as a guide. I'm a cheater, I'm using tape, oh no! 
Cheater. You cheating. Why don't you paint that line straight? I don't know. Why don't you quit using guides on your computer? <laughs> You're a fake. You're a farce. You're lying. You're just a big fat liar. Can't believe you're not using this by doing this by hand. Oh man, I'm tired. I slept in today, so I don't know why I'm tired. I did have a big lunch. I actually here's the funny thing. I was actually a. Uh, I was thinking about fasting today, and then then I got like all uh, hangry. And I was like, yeah, I'm not going to fast today. I'm just going to, I'm just going to work. Uh, I'm going to eat something and uh, not do that. I don't know. Each time I eat, like there's days I say I'm going to do it. Like, I'm going to fast this weekend. And then I don't do it. It's like, why? why? Why not? I guess like I figure I have something better to do or I, uh, I should be uh, fasting, I guess. I don't know. I thought that I could do it. I just, I just had, I didn't have the, the mental strength, I guess. Whatever that means. Means. So I guess what this is looking like, I'm going to be using my good tape, and I'm not too happy about that. I hope I have, I think I have some. I got duct tape. That's not gonna work. Well, I'm out of the good stuff, so um, we're gonna have to move on to the. Uh, well, I'm out of the bad stuff. Well, this is good tape. I just didn't want to use my uh, really expensive tape for the job. So uh, <laughs> I'm gonna have to utilize my more expensive tape for this. And then um, for the for this session, and then I'm gonna have to get some some new tape. So I don't know. We'll just see what happens. I'm um, but I'm really gonna have to get some new tape. Yep, I'm gonna have to use throw toss this. This is done. We're gonna use this tape. This work. This tape works really good. It's expensive though, so I don't want to use it because of how expensive it is. But it's really nice tape. You know, I don't know if it's as expensive as the Green Frogger tape, but I think you get more out of the Green Frog tape than you do with this. So what I think I'm going to do is, because of the nature of this this paint or um, this paint, it's really um, it's transparent. So because it's kind of transparent, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint this first layer, and then I'm going to tape the second area, uh, the the top half, and then I'm going to paint that top half, and I'm going to try to time it that uh, when I go and paint that top half and I come back the other area will be dry enough for me to uh, put that other layer on that's what I'm hoping so that's what I'm uh, that's what I'm shooting for got a little cotton mouth
There we go. Now I can't find my smock. There it is. So my, um, I've set limits on my social media uh, platforms and here it is coming to, to nip me in the butt, right? It's like, oh no, you, you went over the limit. We gotta shut you off. Come on, man, I'm doing a live stream. I'm sorry I'm early, uh, whatever. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I think I set limits for like an hour or something on them, cumulatively or something. And I need to kind of play around with that. Because I'm trying to be more productive and, you know, I'm trying to get off these, these platforms because it's making it harder and harder for me to paint. Not that it's not, not that I'm not getting painting done, it's just like, it's not as efficient as, a, as it could be, you know, I could be much more efficient with my time. And so, uh, there's that, I'm just trying to balance out my social media and my life. So I got to think about how much time I, uh, maybe I should just set the limit, um, Set the time limit, um, man, I'm tired. Maybe I should set the time limit for, um, hmm. I don't even know. This is going on YouTube. <laughs> no, um, so let's see. How much time should I spend on social media? And I was thinking about how much time should I spend on it? Yeah. And um, either how much time or what times I can. So maybe I don't spend, uh, um, it's, there's no time limit, but maybe it's before or after like business hours or something, you know, something like that. So that's what I'm trying to juggle, like, as far as, like, my social media uh, uh, schedule, you know? We're going to use a different piece of tape. A more narrow piece of tape. So I'm trying to think about that, how I can be more effective, you know? The funny thing about these videos that I do post is, you're like, why does this seem so... Well, it's not scripted, so that's one thing. All of this is kind of happening in real time. And I don't edit them because that would involve more time on my behalf, right? And it's not that I don't want to do that. I'd like to kind of do that because we kind of need to see how they turn out. But, like, I don't do that because of just the amount of labor that's involved. I already have enough activities that I do during the day, let alone have to kind of regulate or, or produce my own content. So I just kind of have these videos up, put these videos up in the raw form. And there's something, this is, this is reality. This is reality painting right here. I'm not scripting it. I'm not, you, you're even going to, you, you'll even find parts where I mess up. You know, I'm going to mess up in these videos. So this is more true and more akin to, to reality than the, the shows that you may be watching in, in real life, like what, what you may watch, you know, because what you call entertainment. This is reality. This is, this is a real life glimpse into what it is to paint, to be like a painter, you know. Um, 
and I'm not like staging it and I don't have like certain things I'm talking about that I'm going to talk about, uh, you know. And the reality is if, if this was me painting, um, truly, I wouldn't be talking. I'd just be doing, you know. But in today's medium, you know, they, 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 people don't still like watching someone paint. It's kind of like they might find it interesting for like 30 seconds, you know. They might find what I'm doing kind of like tri it, like visually interesting for like 15, 30 seconds. Maybe you might get someone who's interested for uh, 15 minutes, right? They might ask you some questions. But this is uh, this is it. This is what it's like. You just work, you know? This is even more true than, than those documentaries about artists that are, uh, that uh, sh they show the, the artist painting and then, uh, and then they have like a, another person who, who claims to be like a, a close friend of the artist and like, it's like, yeah, he just has to get in this mindset to to uh, to release this emotive quality, <laughs> he'll sit and stare. You know, but uh, I think I'm only going. I think I am only going to do one panel today. I think I'm going slow enough. And the amount of paint that I'm applying is thin enough that when I go to the second layer, I'll be all right. I'm just moving slow. I mean, you ever have those days, you know, those days that you're just going, uh, dragging your, your, is it dragging your heels or dragging your, your feet? I don't even know, but I was, I'm dragging my toes. Uh, I was doing the deadlifts. I was deadlifting. And I was like, I do not want to pick you up. I don't want to pick you up. I don't feel like picking you up. And then, and then after I did deadlifts, I was like, I don't want to do flies. I almost didn't do them. And then I said, I don't want to do these darn hip thrust thingies. You know, and I almost didn't do them. I didn't want to do any of it. Like I, uh, I was like, well, I'm gonna watch this video, and then I want to go downstairs, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then I was just like, I don't want to do any of this, cause it's painful, man. It wasn't even like heavy weight. It was just painful to do psychologically. It's like. Because I didn't want to do it, like literally I didn't want to do it, the weight felt three times heavier than it should be. And I was like, man, I was telling myself, like, I used to do this weight at 20 reps. When I did this at 20 reps, yes, I wanted to puke out, uh, puke and vomit everywhere, and I, my body was shaking like profusely uh, because my body was like, what'd you do? This, you're not supposed to do this 20 times ever. And, uh, but yeah, I, I was listening to myself. I could do, I could do, I did this like 20 to 30 reps on the reg. And now I'm just, I'm trying to do this like four reps. I'm just doing four reps and I can't, I'm like, this feels, this is awful. It's like, I don't even want to do this. This, this feels like torture to me. And I, I was just thinking to myself, I used to do this like, you know, nothing. This was like lightweight, but now it's like, I feel like I'm dragging in the sand. So it's just one of those days. There's, I have a ton of those days all the time. I, I feel like I have those days all the time where I'm just dragging my, my ankles or my toes or feet. Whatever that phrase is where you're dragging your feet. I think it, it, might, be, it might even be dragging your feet, right? I have, I have those days all the time and then it's just like, ugh. And then you have these like people on, on Instagram and YouTube and Twitter like, just be positive, man. just be positive. I mean, life's too short to be to be negative. But like, I guess, I guess a lot of people just don't have that some of that wiring in their system where they 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 uh, they never had like 
a negative outlook ever. And if they did, they're they're like wired so in tunely, it's so in tune that like if they have a negative thought, it, it goes away like that, you know. And they program themselves out of that, and that's super e that like not easy, but that's that's super intriguing to me because there's a because for me it's just like I constantly have to like reaffirm myself and like this this is gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a good day. We're gonna be all right. But other people, there's like they're just they wake up smiling. I'm like, man, you suck. <laughs> I can't believe you're always so happy and upbeat. Like you're like I I understand the psychology. Like I mean, it's you're to be alive, right? To be to actually exist is a miracle, right? I get that, and I should be super enthralled about it, right? Like you know, the fact that I have food, and I, I I'm able to buy food, I should be very like just happy about it. But they some days you're just like. But gosh, the amount of work I have to do to get that food, right? The amount of work I gotta get that to, uh, have to do to get that food is is like it's a dragon. It's 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 hard, right? You feel like you're struggling, but like I I am I like envy the those people that are positive all the time, or maybe maybe those fa Facebook and uh, Twitter and Instagram. Uh, uh, like those Instagrammers, they're so fake that all their like motivation or all their quotes um, are just garbage lies, right? What if that was the case? What if everything they said was just a bunch of lies and everyone's like, oh man, yeah, you're right, yeah, you're right. It's it's great to be alive. I can't believe it. But deep down inside, they're like, you know, they're they're not happy either. But uh, you know, what I always always find entertaining though is you have these um. These um, these Instagrammers that are, um, you know, they're they're doing really well, and they just show their wealth, and people just like admire them for it. I'm like, what the heck? You too could be like me, bro. You can be hot and attractive like me. Um, are you sure? Yeah, bro, you can do it. it just like I don't know why everyone, why they're, why they're talking like a, a, a surfer dude or a surfer bro, <laughs> like, like a surfer uh, uh, hippie. Yeah, bro, you can be happy and rich just like me. It's like, yeah, I love watching, uh, I love watching another person uh, have nice cars and they talk about how, how easy it is to get a nice car. It's like, just have 18 uh, uh, streams of income like me, bro. It's super easy. I was like, <laughs> Just have 30 streams of income, right? First stream you gotta have is you gotta get endorsed off Instagram. You gotta have product, uh, people come up to you and say, man, you're really good at Instagram. Why don't you promote my product? I'll give you money for this. And then you gotta go and have a YouTube feed that's super good, man. It's gotta have a good point, good production value. But first off, first and foremost, you gotta be attractive. <laughs> and you're like, whoa, dude, uh, I think I can do that. I think I can do it. I think I do this real good, yeah. You know, I can do this, yeah. I can be attractive, but wait, wait, no, I can't. No, I can't. I can't. Uh, and then they're like, it's just easy, you know. First, you got to get four to five different streams of income, and then all of a sudden, you can have a car like mine. Like, it's like, yeah. Uh, but first, but first, you got to sign up for my uh, uh, my course on how to do this. It's like, oh yeah. I'm gonna, it's like, is it a course on 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 uh, on uh, <laughs> on pulling my leg? Cause that's what it sounds like. No, bro. You too can have a stack of of a hundreds five feet tall, and you can throw it on your bed and get tons of likes. Oh, sweet man, that sounds so cool. Right. <laughs> Uh, what I what I, what I, what it's boiling down to is I just don't want to. Um, I was just just having a a rough go of it, and and I didn't want to work out. That's all I want to try to say is like I didn't want to work out, and uh, I was trying to make every excuse possible to to not lift weights, and uh, I've been trying to do this mental trick on me. Uh, this mental trick kind of helps. It's uh, uh, it's like 
what it is is like um, anything that I don't want to do, I do. So that's what I've been doing lately. It's like anything I don't want to do, I do. So um, if I don't want to work out, I just force myself to work out. Don't want to paint, I just kind of force myself to paint. <laughs> don't want to pay the electric, uh, uh, the bills. <laughs> I force myself to pay the bills, right? Oh man, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do any of it. Oh gosh. Just like the, uh, just like everyone, you know? Everyone doesn't want to do some of these things, you know? You do it because you gotta do it. And do, just like, um, there's this, I think there's, there's this misconce misconception that you want to be painting all the time, but sometimes, you know, you just, it's like, if you're painting every day, you know, right? It's fun. I get it. It's fun. It's enjoyable. But, you know, you want to be able to see your friends <laughs> or something. Right? You want to be able to do things. So right now I'm just kind of making random lines. I don't know what, what the the outcome is and this hoping for the best what I'm really doing is kind of um, I am wasting time so that this can dry a little bit because I want to get two layers of paint on but um, at the moment it's still a little I can see a little bit of like sheen so the paint's still drying it needs two layers of paint so I'm, what I might do is I might actually have to start um, doing this area. As well. And then see what comes of it. You know. I haven't done uh, a like square like um pink shape so we're going to do a small square like pink shape here you know and it, and it might lead to something it kind of looks like a um a perspective point so maybe that might be something i consider in the future so now that i've kind of went on my rant about uh Whatever it was about, I don't even know. It's just uh, just about life, life and struggles. You know, kind of like a blog, I guess, or a a, a vlog of sorts. Sometimes I have things to say, and sometimes I don't. I'm not. I'm definitely not going to be talking about other people's like stuff. I don't. I don't comment on other people's stuff. That's. I'll leave that to someone else to kind of like critique other people's like things. I guess whatever that is. What I'm gathering is I, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> really, really what it amounts to is a, I know a lot of things in a very small, narrow section of like expertise, like section of like, or se uh, like field, I guess. And then the rest is just kind of like, I don't know, there we are, who knows. But it's really cool. Uh, What's cool? I don't know. I do like that um, that when I because I'm doing this, I basically have documentation of about eighty percent of all the work I've been making as of lately, and that's one nice thing. So it's being documented, and um, of course there's weird audio, I guess. 
And the only reason why I'm talking is because, well, maybe, maybe it helps me out. Maybe it doesn't. It makes it feel uh, like I'm providing more value than just you watching me uh, paint stripes here. So you get a little bit of insight of what, what go, goes on in my day to day. So I think I'm going to paint this and then we'll see where I'm at. I might, um, I'm going to paint this one first and I'm going to tape this one because I'm going to need to tape it. And then we'll see where I'm at then. At the very least, these videos are going to show the extent of how much labor is involved in these paintings. Even as simple as something as simple as like these these weird amoeba amoeba fractal type paintings I've been kind of working on, you know, it shows just how much work you need to is needed to do them. Never mind the the uh, the weird commentary that you might get from me. I, th I the thing that that's weird is like um I think in like non uniform steps. So I'm never really fully thinking what's the next plan of action with these I'm more so thinking what am I going to do with the next like batch of these really what's what part is what's what's the next series or next iteration of these are going to look like like I, and I'm really just kind of excited at the at the idea of of there being um of there being kind of like a new colors. I've been wanting to do new colors for such a long time that it's been a long time coming, but like I've been, I've been wanting to just push, I wanted to push, uh, push these pieces using the same color palette for as long as possible. And I, I don't think, I, I didn't push them for as long as possible, but I push them as far as, as long as I feel comfortable doing uh, doing them, and now I'm like, oh, okay, it's time to move on. I want to use a different color palette. You know, I want to mix it up some, and I want to put go forward in a different direction a little bit. And then, uh, I mean, this was enjoyable while it lasted, but now it's time to kind of let's let's move on. You know, let's let's do something different visually. Although the the the, the these are not going to like change drastically visually, but they're going to start morphing as I start using different colors. And um, as a, the colors might dictate the form some, you know, it all, it's all very, it all very, it depends a lot on, on a lot of different factors, you know. So they're morphing. They're mighty Morphin Power Rangers. No, they're morphing as I go along with them. So they're changing every time a little bit. So like this one, I thought maybe I add more strikes to them. Because you know, I was, some of these things I was kind of liking, some of them I didn't. Um, I did the drip on one and, and like the purposeful drip on one. And I, 
I don't think I liked it as much as I did on the earlier layers. I think the the having the drip as like a background visual is much better to me. At least feels more stable as a design tool or a visual tool or the visual device as opposed to having it kind of like on the fore foreground of the composition. So that's one thing that I've been changing up visually, you know. So this is turning out well, it's almost dry. It's almost dry. Who knows, what luck, I might actually end up doing two panels today, which is more than I expected to do. If I get two panels today done, or like two panels, two panels finished, I might be pretty impressed with myself. Who knows? You never know. Uh-oh. Oh, no, water. Oh, there we go. There's a mistake. So I might end up just doing this area. And then go tape this and I'll tape this area because uh, I don't know if I uh, I got to wait for this paint to dry now because I got a little bit of paint on the area that I want to tape over so that's gonna change that's gonna change my uh, my plans with what I'm doing with this painting currently Getting more drips. So when I do these paintings, I don't really mind that I'm dripping paint on the surface like this. It's not like it's a gonna make or break the painting to me. I just call them kind of like happy mistakes. And if they happen, they happen, right? If they don't happen, then they don't. Right, let's keep moving forward. I think I can paint on this. So we're gonna move forward to this and paint on them and then peel off the tape. And the areas that are uh, kind of disagreeing with me, I'm gonna push forward.
You know, sometimes it's just kind of nice to not talk. I might have to do a few of those paintings, uh, painting sessions in my live streams where I just kind of, you know, just not talk. Focus at the task, on the task at hand, you know. Because that's usually what I used to do. I used to do that and just kind of really focus on getting the painting done. I slipped. That's what happens. Well, it's okay. Uh, it's not going to make or break my painting. We're just going to uh, kind of include that as a happy accident. No one will know. Right? No one's going to know that was a mistake. That was all on purpose. So I just want to give it enough time to dry a little bit before I peel the tape off. And then when I peel the tape off, that might be dry enough for me to put uh, paint on a second layer. I just need it tacky enough that I can put a second layer on there without kind of peeling off the first layer or kind of just swooshing around the first layer. Because if the, if the paint's still wet on the bottom layer, it's going to kind of like, you're just kind of stirring the, top, the bottom layer around with new paint. And you're not really uh, adding a second layer on top, really. It's good. So it needs to be kind of bonded and semi-dry in order for it to, uh, for me to apply that second layer. mistakes so many happy mistakes dripping paint everywhere oh my goodness I'm just making all kinds of mistakes oopsie daisy all right time to peel the tape off
reveal. So for the big reveal, we. This tape, this black tape, does not work near as well as the green tape. It's leaving lots of little bitty. Ooh, now that's ugly. Ooh, I don't like that. We're gonna have to use the green tape for now on because that that black tape is not working good. Green tape is where it's at. Black tape. Well, it's, the green's not working too well either, but uh, it's working slightly better than this this uh, like this black masking tape here. Oh yeah, it's working. That black black masking tape is doing an awful job. So what turned out to be a pretty cool idea, the white tape's doing a pretty good job. But the black masking tape, not so much. So I'm going to have to go buy some tape to uh, really nail this in from now on because I, I am not going to draw these by hand. Again, it's all about the imagery, so I'm not too worried about it being like this. Or I am worried, but I'm not going to... Wow, it's it's not it's not doing clean lines at all. The paint is really kind of percolating underneath there. Um, I'm not too happy about that, but I can't do anything about it now. Like I, it's 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 gonna take. I it's I can actually make a painting uh, uh, like this probably quicker than actually having to c fix all of this via like correcting it by hand so I gotta choose my battles with regards to the paint this uh, with regards to these paintings you know of course I wasn't expecting it to create such a bad line like that's a real bad you can't see it in the camera but like this line is is just not good it's splotchy it's inconsistent so I'm just gonna have to deal with that. So I learned something. I can't use this this tape here. So I can't. I have to go back and get some better tape to work with for tomorrow when I work on these these paintings. The white tape's working fine. It's just these. This other tape is just not good. So we're going to just. Put the second layer on these areas right here and then we'll deal with the other stripes at another time but i'm not i'm i'm not too happy about what happened actually this is it was unexpected i wasn't expecting the uh tape to kind of create that effect so now i gotta i guess for these i might have to do something compositionally on top that kind of not necessarily conceals it, but definitely detracts, takes away, takes the attention away. You know, I might have to do like, take some of the black paint and make a drip or something. I don't know. So I got to do, I have to, I have some visual question, design questions I got to deal with when I work on these paintings later on. something I wasn't expecting on doing. But it is what it is. It's one of those things you just kind of have to deal with. And if it does that, you can't. You don't want to hold your painting so precious. Like, I don't really mind. I shouldn't. I'm not going to mind two errors like this. Because I got a bunch more that I'm working on. And they're moving forward. 
And paintings move forward and sometimes they move backwards. They go like two steps forward and one step back. So this is kind of like, it, it went two steps forward, but they just kind of stayed, you know, in the same spot. Like it's there, there's some progress and um, I should be pleased with that, but I'm not too happy with the final like outcome or like what happened with the tape. Like I did not expect that. Cause historically I had not, I've had nothing but good, like good experiences with this tape. Or maybe it's been such a long time that I haven't used it in a while. And um, maybe it works only well when it's on a very flat surface. And this is not a particularly flat surface. There's a lot of hills and valleys from previous layers of paint. So that might be part of the reason why, reasons why that's occurring. So again, I gotta take each of these things with a grain of salt, each one of these paintings with a grain of salt and just kind of come back to the drawing board whenever stuff like this occurs, you know? And maybe, maybe I actually might grow to appreciate that mistake. Just like I've grown to appreciate like the, uh, the drips that kind of come off that happen when I am lifting the brush and moving it towards the uh, painting surface, I've, I might grow to appreciate these uh, when I want, on something that I anticipated on being a pretty clean straight line where it actually doesn't have that. So there might be a, a silver lining from it. I don't know. like this is going to have a lot of uh, uh, paint leaking, up, leaking under it. I, I think that's going to happen on this one. But you're just going to have to deal with it, you know. It's one of those things. It is what it is, right? Surprisingly, oh! <laughs> Surprisingly, not super bad on this shape. It was really messed up on this one. Like, I was like, what is going on right here? Now, here's the waves. Oh, yeah, that's what we want. We want those. So the white tape is working pretty good. It's just the this black like a uh, drawing tape is not doing what I, I had expected of it. And you know it is what it is. Well, that's it for today. I'm not going to play around with these anymore. Uh I need to get more tape before I continue. Uh and I can't apply any more tape here cuz I actually drip some paint on areas that I need to tape over. And that's it for the day. Um, I hope you uh, had a good time, and I really appreciate you stopping by and taking a moment out of your day to watch me paint. Have a wonderful day.